me talk for a couple of minutes about the 2009 election that uh, happened in, in November. Um, everybody wanted to know, is, is, is there a message? You know, what does this election mean? Did the Democrats win? Did the Republicans mean? And so on. And the way I see it is that there, there are several messages. One message is that the Democrats won some things. They won a seat in a longtime Republican district in upstate New York, the 23rd district, because the Republicans split amongst themselves. They didn't like the Republican candidate and went after her. She quit and ended up actually supporting the Democrat. And it was exciting because Sarah Palin was involved and a lot of high, very high recognition national Demo uh, Republicans went there to basically get involved in that race. And so the Democrats won that and they say, see it as a victory. Um, and whether it is or not, I don't know. The Republicans did very well in winning back the governorship in Virginia, but it's not as big a deal as, as they would like to think because Virginia traditionally has been a Republican state. And it was only Barack Obama who managed to bring out the new residents and lots of minority voters and won um, Virginia during the presidential election. But that was a, an aberration, really, in some ways. They, the Republicans did win the governorship in New Jersey, um, and that is a, a pretty big victory. New Jersey is very Democrat. Um, the governor, Governor Corzine, was very tainted because he had been a stockbroker and, and was a multimillionaire, maybe even a billionaire. And in 2009, being a, a Wall Street billionaire is not such a good thing politically. So the Republicans took advantage of it and uh, got Mr. Christie elected governor. And I, I think that's a big victory for them. The other thing that was very interesting, though, was the reemergence of these high-intensity social issues. And one of them was, of course, gay marriage. In Maine, there was a, a bill that the Maine legislature passed, the governor signed, but had not put into effect yet, making gay marriage, not just same-sex partners, but gay marriage legal. Anti-gay marriage groups put a referendum initiative on the ballot, and that initiative won. So in Maine, gay marriage uh, was made illegal, and that's the 31st state in the U.S., where gay marriage has lost when it was put in front of the voters. Of course, Iowa has gay marriage because the Iowa Supreme Court made it legal, and Massachusetts and Vermont and uh, New Hampshire and Connecticut, I guess, have gay marriage because the legislature and the governor um, made it a law. But the voters have never approved a gay marriage act. And conservatives are saying this is a sign that the tide has turned for conservatism and that the Republicans you know, will gain from that. We'll have to see whether that's true nationally or not, but it certainly was a mixed um, election night in the sense that um, a conservative trend was evident in, in Washington State, on the other hand, uh, an enhanced same-sex partner um, law was approved by the voters. So in, in, in one part of the country, in the more liberal uh, West Coast, um, gay rights essentially had a victory. Um, in Maine, it had a loss. So my, my takeaway message for you as the um, readers and viewers of InsiderIowa.com is it was a mixed night and both parties now have to work very hard to take advantage of uh, the trends that they would like to see expanded and they're going to have to work between now and November of 2010 to try and make their case. Mixed night, there's no winner, neither of the parties are going to the Super Bowl right now.